is going to be in the end USL Championship After Dark East Coast Edition in Pittsburgh. And we are underway with the Eastern Conference leading Riverhounds in control in their black and yellows. Is that sense that maybe they can still make the playoffs here, Hartford? And a good result today will go a long way to boosting their confidence. He talked to us about the push for the postseason. They're going to fight for it. And a win tonight for Hartford could potentially see them get back within nine points of the playoff places, depending on how results go the rest of the weekend. And they would have to jump over four teams. That's the big challenge for Hartford if we're going to talk hypotheticals. But nine points off the playoff places. There's still 10, 11 games to go. It's not impossible. And if you get off to the right start, it could be possible. But Hartford, of course, gave us some great stuff as well, including that goal scored against stat earlier on. Former Hartford player, Obergon Jr. gets onto it. A little of a give and go attempt between Robbie Mertz, but the visitors reclaim possession 15 minutes in. That pass picked off by Mertz. You mentioned Aubrey Gon Jr. Interesting that, that last season he was there at Hartford and I think in 2021 was their top goal scorer. So important player. Went back to Honduras for a short spell and then decided to come back and chose Pittsburgh. Chance here for Pittsburgh. It's Dequa and he scores! Albert Dequa scores another early goal for the Riverhounds. Scored inside of three minutes against the Rowdies. He scores within 16 minutes against Hartford and after a three hour delay, it's a goal worth waiting for for Pittsburgh. Have a look at this error here. The ball allowed just to get free there of Mendez and it just gets set up for a good, a really good finish there from Albert Dicker. But Mendez's first touch and taken off his toes brilliantly and set up there, nothing Joe Rice could do and straight away looks at his defense and for Modesto Mendez. Another set piece opportunity for Robbie Mertz who has the captain's armband on tonight with Forbes on the bench. Looks at a dangerous ball and it's headed down. And in the end, it's right at Rice's chest in the end. And Arturo Ordonez nearly was able to add a second for the Riverhounds. That was a good header, wasn't it? He came in late, he came in strong. But if you go back to May, he scored three goals in three back-to-back -back matches. And I think most of those came from headers from set pieces. During most games, you'll also see many winding runs from Arturo Ordonez from defense into attack. Pretty good with the ball at his feet. That's why we were looking at John Daly's appearance. Ball knocked into Obregon Jr. And it's Modesto. Berg's lead and score against his former club in the process. It's Obregon Jr. And he scores. He won't celebrate against his former club, but he gives Pittsburgh a 2-0 lead on the stroke of halftime. And the Riverhounds at the top of the Eastern Conference are in control once again here at Highmark. See where it goes. Looks like it goes a little bit to the keeper's left and straight away when Aubrey Gon Jr. says, I'm not going to celebrate against my... Slow to get up after a coming together with Barrera just outside the penalty area. Ball played down that far side, covered by Dos Santos. And Dos Santos is fouled by Merrill. And that might be the last act of the half. And it is the last act of the first half. Well, at least it's more important to get the momentum from another home game and then take that out west. And that's what they're trying to do is Kizza looks for a third and it's parried over the top by Joe Rice and out for a Riverhounds corner. Good volley, lots of power behind it. He borrows ball in. Keys a one touch, bang, and then goalkeeper. Just make sure that that goes over the bar. And that's shot from three goals this season for Kizza. Ibarra from the corner, it's headed down and it's headed wide of the goal. Dequan Kizza up front. Dequa upended by Hodge, who's already been booked. And how do we improve? How do we emulate the way Pittsburgh play? Very difficult to do because they're high pressed, their hard work is fantastic, they're good finishers, and they possess the ball so extremely well. Barrera, it opens up for him, and Waite makes the save, parries it away. Down to his right, one of the better chances Hartford's had.
Yeah. Can haven't seen enough from Danny Barrera. I think back to previous years and he'd be on the edge of the box firing in shots a lot more often. Aren't doing anything, then then you're in trouble. And that's pretty much where Omid Namazi is at the moment with his Hartford side. Ibarra for Pittsburgh, 25 minutes of the 90 left. Etu runs onto it. Great ball across. Oh, somehow it doesn't go in. Off the post and into the waiting arms of Rice. Kizza denied again. God, it's, it's, only, it's only a couple of yards out, isn't it, Edward Kieser there? What is it, three yards near post and just can't quite direct it into the back of the net, but again, good opportunity for the Hounds. Rito on the other end for Hartford, crosses it into the middle, deflected as it was going towards the edge of the penalty area, and Griffin. Anything else? So Hartford fans get on down for the home games, two of them coming up as... You quite rightly say, Sean, that is do or die time for Hartford Athletic. Another professional Pittsburgh performance here at Highmark.